a peculiar creature from the depths of the ocean. Scientists scouring the ocean near Antarctica have discovered a new species. The creature has 20 legs and looks like monsters from science fiction movies. The creature recently discovered near Antarctica is extremely striking. It resembles a monster from Hollywood movies, but has received a rather nice name. Scientists found a detail in its structure that reminded them of a strawberry. The description and results of the research were published in Invertebrate Systematics. This essentially small and harmless creature was spotted in the cool ocean waters of Antarctica where researchers have found that it lives from 65 to 1170 meters below the ocean surface. Its appearance may resemble creatures known from science fiction movies, in which creatures from other planets appear. It was described by researchers from the University of California, San Diego. Literally translated into Polish, the newly discovered creature was called the strawberry feathery star. Why? Its arms, which it has as many as 20, really give the impression of feathers. They can reach a length of over 20 centimeters. But where are the strawberries from? Well, there is a small lump at the top of all legs. And it was its surface that scientists from San Diego associated with the one we see on strawberries. Anyway, the shape also seems to be similar in this case. Unfortunately, noticing this was in part to the detriment of the creature itself. Since the appearance of this lump only became apparent when scientists removed some of the appendages attached to it. The appendages themselves are equipped with small claws at the very end. The purpose of which is to enable the star to hold onto the ocean floor. Of course, the newly discovered creature was also given an official species name, Promacocrinus fragarius. Analyzing them in terms of systematics, they belong to Crinoidea i.e. daylilies, which in turn belong to echinoderms. The cousins of animals that we have recently met are starfish, sea urchins and sea cucumbers, also called sea cucumbers. But also in its species name we will find strawberry, because fragario sea comes from the Latin word fragum, which also means strawberry. Interestingly, this is not the first feathery star we have met. Promacocrinus kerguelensis were already known to us before. During the search conducted in the Southern Ocean, the aim of which was to find more representatives of these animals, researchers from the United States and Australia came across as many as four new species. However, Promacocrinus fragarius definitely stands out from them because of a specific feature, the number of legs. The other animals only have 10 of them. In general, finding previously unknown species is not as rare as we might think. As one researcher recalls, 10 to 15 new species are discovered and named each year in his laboratory at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography. Researchers have found a petrified heart from 380 million years ago. Scientists have discovered a petrified heart that is 380 million years old. The petrified organ was found in the remains of an ancient fish along with a petrified stomach, intestines and liver. These findings shed new light on how evolution took place. 
in the Gogo Formation in Western Australia's Kimberley Plateau, which was originally a large reef, scientists have stumbled upon a 380 million year old petrified heart, the oldest ever found. The organ was found in the remains of a prehistoric fish belonging to the jawfish, also known as jawfish or jawfish from the group of armored fish. The petrified heart was found along with petrified stomach, intestines and liver, and the researchers say these specimens shed new light on the winding paths of evolution. The description and results of the research were published in Science. Kate Trinajstic of Curtin University said the discovery was remarkable. Considering that the soft tissues of ancient species are rarely found well preserved, and even rarer are specimens that have retained their three dimensional structure. As a paleontologist who has been studying fossils for over 20 years, I was truly amazed to find a three dimensional and beautifully preserved heart in a 380 million year old specimen said Professor Trinajstic. Evolution is often thought of as a series of small steps, but these ancient fossils suggest that there was a much larger leap between mandibles and non-jaws. These fish literally had hearts in their mouths, under their gills, just like today's sharks, she added. Analyzers have shown that the position of the organs in the bodies of the hinged sharks, an extinct group of armored fish that also included the owner of the fossilized organs and that lived during the Devonian period, approximately 420 to 360 million years ago, is similar to that of modern sharks, offering important evolutionary clues. This study presents the first 3D model of the hinged heart, which consists of two chambers, with a smaller chamber on top. According to Trinajstic, these features are advanced in such early vertebrates, giving unique insights into how the head and neck region began to change to accommodate the jaws, a critical step in evolution. For the first time we can see all the organs together in a primitive jawed fish. We were especially surprised to see that they are not so different from what you see us. However, there was one critical difference. The liver was large and allowed the fish to stay buoyant, just like today's sharks. Some of the modern bony fish, such as the lungfish, have lungs that evolved from the swim bladder, but it was significant that we found no evidence of lungs in any of the extinct armored fish we studied, suggesting that they evolved independently in fish skeletal bones at a later time, noted Trinajstic. Using the latest technological solutions, scientists scanned the specimens thanks to which three-dimensional models of fossilized organs were created, detailing the soft tissues inside them based on the different densities of minerals deposited by bacteria and the surrounding rock matrix. New discoveries of organs in ancient fish are truly a paleontologist's dream. Without a doubt, these fossils are the best preserved in the world compared to others of this age. They also show the value of fossils from the Gogo formation for understanding the great steps in our distant evolution, said John Long of Flinders University, co-author of the paper. What is really unique is that their soft tissues are preserved in three dimensions. In most cases of soft tissue preservation, we are dealing with flattened fossils, where the soft tissues are nothing more than a blot on the rock. We are also fortunate that modern scanning techniques allow us to examine these delicate soft tissues without destroying them. Decades ago, 
such research would have been impossible, emphasized Peralberg from Uppsala University, co-author of the study.